Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is picture in a picture in iMovie and we are on version 10.1.9. So any version of iMovie a little bit before and a little bit after, this should be relevant for. Alrighty, let's get into this. First thing I'm gonna do is grab my media and drag it into the timeline. The video or the main piece of media, I'll put on the main timeline. And the picture in a picture, I'm gonna use an image here. I'm gonna drag that and put it wherever you want. Since this is an image, it potentially will have borders. So we're gonna fix that by double clicking on it. Moving over here to the cropping tool. We're gonna to go to crop to fill. And from here you can resize and grab the actual image the way you want it. And it defaults to the dimensions of the video. When you're ready, just hit checkbox. Right now we have an image that actually overlays on top of the video, but it's not picture in a picture yet. So to get it to the picture in a picture format, you double click on it and you're going to go to the drop down here and you're going to select picture in a picture. Now you're actually officially in picture in a picture mode. And from here you can move it around. You can make it larger or smaller and you can add some functionality to it. So let's go ahead and show you that. First thing you're going to do is look at the transitions here. It defaults to dissolve. So let's go ahead and play that real quick. So it fades in and it fades out. The second transition is a zoom. So we'll go ahead and play that to show you that. It's going to zoom in and then zoom out. The third transition, which is a pretty cool one, is to swap. What this does is it swaps the picture in the picture media with the main media and then back again. So let's go ahead and show you that. There you go. So that's pretty cool. All right, let me go ahead and bring it back to dissolve. Next, you'll notice there's a little field here where you can put numbers in. This allows you to control the length of the transition. I usually leave it at 0.5, but you can also down here, there's some little sliders you can do as well. And if you don't want any transition at all, just make it zero. But I'll leave a little bit there, just real quick. Fade in, fade out. So you'll notice sometimes when you click on the image here or the video that's in picture in a picture mode, you lose your controls. But to get those back, just double click and they'll come back. Then you can move it around anywhere you like. So now let's look at the border here. We have no border, thin border, thick border, and border color. So let's go ahead and select the thick border and we'll go ahead and change the color to orange. There we go. And then there's also a checkbox to add a drop shadow. And you can still move it around and resize as you like, and the borders will follow with it. Pretty cool, yeah? When you're ready, you can actually click the checkbox here, or the check circle, or you can reset it to bring it back to default. So let's go ahead and accept that. And we have our picture in a picture with the border and with a shadow. You can, of course, with images, make it as long as you'd like, or as short as you'd like. With video, it's the duration of the video itself. So basically, that's it for picture in picture. You can use images or video, it doesn't matter. So let me grab a little piece of video here. Drag it on top. Again, it's gonna replace it initially, but if you double click on it, go to the drop down, go to picture in a picture, it's actually gonna make it into a picture in a picture video. So it will play just as it does and then it'll fade out. So again, you can use any kind of media, whether it's images or video. Okay, there's one last thing I wanna mention. The only limitation in picture in picture in iMovie is it'll only let you do one at a time. You cannot do multiple at the same time. The only way to do that is to either upgrade to Final Cut Pro 10, that's like, what, 299. Or there is a workaround, but it's kind of a pain in the neck. But I'll leave a link in the description that kind of describes how to do that. All right, thanks for watching. As usual, peace and aloha. Talk to you next time.